friends, I'm Jessie and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to make these little clay pins. I am going to share with you step by step how I made mine, as well as some tips that I wish I had known before making these. Let's jump right into it! First you are going to need baking clay. I am using this soft polymers clay. Then you're gonna need two component epoxy glue. We need acrylic wash, UV resin, leftover wine corks, and paint brushes. We also need paint backings. I will leave a full materials list on the description below. So first what we need to do is sketch our designs and narrow down our color choices. Just make a couple designs on your sketchbook or on a piece of paper, choose your favorites and color them in. They do not need to be perfect, we will just use these as our reference. We are going to cut the clay in pieces because we want to mold the clay enough so that the designs made out of clay don't break after baking them. So it is very important to cut it in smaller pieces, squishing them and rolling them out I am using this clay cutter thingy that I already had, but you can use a knife to help you. And we are just gonna squish and roll out our clay a couple of times and using a marker or any small cylindrical tool that you have lying around, we will roll out the clay and start making our shapes. I try to make the shapes as simple as possible because clay is not that easy to work with and that way you don't overcomplicate yourself either. To add extra parts into the shapes, you can cut small pieces and just dab a lot of times into the clay so that it becomes one piece. Once you finish your shape, it is always good to roll out the pin designs so they are as flat as possible. I recommend you to make pins in batches of 20 to 40, that way you don't overwhelm yourself with them when you paint them. Once we are done with all of our shapes, we are going to grab a tray and put some wax paper into it and place all of our shapes a couple centimeters apart so that they don't bake into each other. And we are going to follow the baking instructions on the back of the clay package. I'm baking mine at 120 degrees celsius for about 15 minutes. And after we take them out, we're gonna let them cool down for about an hour. Once our clay pins are completely cooled down, we are gonna jump into the most part of the process, which is the painting! You can paste the backings of the pins before painting them if you want, so that it is easier to turn them around while painting. I did not do this, but if I were to make another batch, I would have probably done this before painting them, but it is your choice. I recommend you to paint your pins in blocks of color by starting with the base of each one. So for example, if you are going to use green, paint all the green pins in one go. And same goes with other colors like pink or orange or yellow and so on. That way you do not waste as much paint. Also remember to paint the side edges of each one so that they don't look unfinished. We are going to do two layers of paint into each one so that when they dry there are not transparent parts. Once the bases are completely dry, we can go ahead and add the details using acrylic markers. I am using these Posca markers, but you can use any other brand.
So now we are going to glue the pin backings into our clay designs by using this epoxy glue. We will pour the two component glue into a disposable container and mix it together with a small wood stick or plastic stick. Usually when you buy the glue, this should be included in the packaging already. So we will mix it and very delicately paste the pin backing into the pin design. I recommend you to use gloves, glasses and a mask and open the windows also since this kind of glue is pretty toxic to breathe in and it can burn your hands if the glue touches your skin. I did not wear gloves here because I did not own a pair at the moment but please 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 wear gloves when using this epoxy glue. Once we're done, we are going to leave the glue to dry for at least a day. We will remove the butterfly part of the metallic pin backing and put the spiky part into the corks. That way we can move the pins around as we glaze them. Now for the glazing, we are going to pour a small amount of nail polish remover or rubbing alcohol into our glass container. Every time we finish glazing one pin at a time, we can put the brush we are using into the container so the bristles of the brush don't get completely pasted by the resin. Then we will pour a small amount of the UV resin into the clay designs and using an old brush we will spread the resin and make a layer as even as possible. It is better to spread the resin also in the edges of the clay pins that way when they dry they will be as protected as possible. But we need to be very careful not to add too much resin so that it drips on the sides. to slide very carefully each cork into this nail resin machine thingy five corks at a time or more depending on how big your machine is i wish i had bought a slightly bigger one to cure more pins at a time but this one does the job We are going to leave them under the UV light for about 4 minutes. You can layer them out into the sun for about 20 minutes so that each one cures strongly. And you know, just to make double sure that the resin is completely dry. And there you have it! Your own clay pin designs made by yourself. I hope this guide was helpful for you. Feel free to let me know if you make them. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon at another video. Bye bye!